Hello friends, welcome back to the video series in Oracle PLSQL programming. In the previous video, we have already created a table. If we want to modify the structure of that particular table, we can do it by the alter command. So, using alter command, we can add columns, modify columns, drop columns, and rename column name of any particular table. Now, when we would discuss about the constraints, we would check we can add or modify constraints by the alter table command. If we think about drop column, after dropping this column, that means deleting the column, that column no longer available in the table. But if we want not to drop the column from the table, but not be used or visible in the table, we can use the set unused command. Let us proceed all the comments by hands on in practical way. And already we are connected to the Oracle database with the help of SQL plus. So, in the previous video, already we have created a table named as employee. Let at first check about the structure of the table employee. So, that is the structure of the table employee. So, if we want to modify the structure of the table, we use the alter table command. Suppose we want to add a new column in the employee table. At first, clear the screen. And for that, we use the CLSCR. And then, once again, we use the DESC employee statement. So, now we are adding a new column to the existing table employee. And for that, we should use the alter, then the word table, then the name of the table which we want to alter, that means the employee here, and then the keyword add. To add new column, the next would be the name of the new column. So, here suppose we are adding the name as DOB for the date of birth and then the data type for that we are using the date and then a semicolon press enter already the message has come that is table altered we can check once again what should be the new structure of the table as here the dob that column is not present so when we are Checking the next structure of the table employee, we can see the DOB is present now. That means that column has been added using the alter table statement. Now, one thing we have to remember, we cannot change the orders of the column when we are adding a new column. New column must be added at last here as the DOB has been added at last. Now, to add multiple columns, we have to use the parenthesis. And for that, alter table, then the name of the table that is employee, then the same keyword add, but here we should use the parenthesis. And here, suppose we want to another column name that is as salary with the data type suppose number and suppose here that one is 10 comma 2 for the precision and s that means the total number of digit after the decimal point is 2 here and then we have to use a comma then the name of the another column and suppose here the name of the column is new call and the data type suppose once again 
it is number and then end of the parenthesis and the semicolon press enter once again the message has come that table altered so we can now check once again the two columns have been added or not that means the salary and the new column let's check and here we can see after the dob that column has been added the salary and the new column that two columns has been added so the columns has been added successfully now if we want to change the data type of any column we have to be very cautious when the table contains data the change of length of any particular field may generate error when suppose we want to change the data type from number to varchar 2 with length is possible but we have to be sure the data present in the field is compatible with the data present suppose any field with data type varchar 2 and suppose contains string shumon now if we want to change the data type to number or any numeric data type it is not possible again decreasing the field length is also not possible if the data present is lengthy than the new field length we want suppose we want to change the data type of new call from number to varchar 2 here we can check the new call that column has the data type number so to change the data type of new call that column from number to varchar 2 we have to use the alter command once again and for that alter then table then the name of the table employee then the keyword must be modified then the name of the column whose data type we want to change and here we want to change the data type of new call that column so new call and then simply write down which data type now we want and that is varchar 2 with the length as 20 or size as 20 just type the semicolon and press enter and already the message has here table altered so new call yet now has the data type number let's check what is the new data type and we can see here now the new call has the data type varchar 2 now if we want to drop any column let we want to drop salary field or column how we can do this once again we can use the alter comment and alter table then the name of the table that is employee then the drop keyword then column that is another keyword that means the drop column is the keywords here then the name of the column we want to drop or delete here we want to delete the salary that particular column and here at the end a semicolon and press enter and already the message is here table altered let's check really the salary that column has been dropped or not using the desc employee comment or statement so here we can check the salary column has been dropped so when we drop any particular column the data present in the column is dropped along with the data present in the column and memory is released but we can proceed in another way if we want to not drop any column such as when server is busy drop any column may require a huge amount of time in that case we can use the set unused keyword and for that we can use once again alter table 
then the name of the table here that one is employee then the keywords set unused and then another keyword that is column and the name of the column which we want to set unused and for that here now suppose we want to uh, work on the new call that particular column and end with the semicolon and press enter and let's check what happens here the new call that particular column is not present so what happens in that case the new call is not dropped that means not has been deleted but not present in the table when the server is not busy we can drop that particular new call column so does not hamper the job now another one using the alter comment if we want to change the name of any particular column suppose here we have a column that is known as the dob and we want to change that particular column name from dob to date of birth and for that we can once again use the alter comment and here alter table and then the name of the table employee then another keyword that is called the rename then the column and from the name of the previous column to the new name of the column that means from dob to date of birth and semicolon press enter table altered let's check what happens so here previously the name of the column was dob now the name of the column is date of birth this is how we can use the alter comment to modify the structure of any table so once again what we can do with the alter comment using alter comment we can add the columns we can modify the columns we can drop the columns and even we can rename the column name and also using alter comment we can change the data type of any particular column in the next video we should check how we can drop or delete any particular table